Hello everyone and welcome to Payday 2. That's right folks, this is the exclusive preview for Sheep and Dane on the sequel to the epic Payday the Heist. For those of you who don't know, Payday is a game where you team up with a couple of friends and pull off various heists. To and you, these can range from uh, just delivering things, killing specific targets, or just flat out robbing banks. It's a, it's a very fun co-op experience. Now this, the sequel, basically takes what some of the concepts from the first game, such as the whole level, you know, the whole RPG elements, they and times it by ten. For example, the first game has like, well, five to ten different maps. This one has around, uh, I think the guy said around 30 maps, you know, 30 overall missions of the game. So that's a good thing. And uh, there's, they've added a lot and lot of features to this. Um, I, don't, I don't know all the features just yet myself, but from what we've seen, they are pretty good. Basically, you can more in the first uh, game. There was there was some missions. Actually, I think it was like one main mission that you could do stealth in. They're trying to increase the ability to do that, so you can literally play this game as you like. So if you are the team of friends who want to go all out and just shoot people, you can do that. You can shoot people if you want to be slow and. Um, Stealth out, you can do that. It's it really is a play your own way sort of game. This game includes a new feature that known as Crime Net. What is this Crime Net? Well, it's basically just a. How do I explain it? It's a. It's a new type site, new type of way to select missions in the game like as time goes on new missions will pop up on this digital map that you can scroll around you can go look around and you can just click on missions through the map and it's a very nice way to do things as opposed to the original game where it had the you know the mission based structure where it's just like oh menu let's pick one yay <laughs> and you know it all works it all works in the end um I didn't get hands on of the gameplay of the games, so, you know, I didn't know how the controls feel, so I don't know how they've improved from the first game. I'm pretty sure they have though. Though the first game had extremely good controls, so I I'd be shocked if this one didn't. And um Yeah, you know, it's just general general little tweaks and stuff to make this game a better experience for the player. As with the first game, this game offers up to four players co-op gameplay, and if you complete the mission tactics, because in this game now, you, whenever you go into a mission, you can't, you don't even need to complete the actual objective. You, like, if if you're struggling to do the objective and you're just like, oh god, we gotta get out of here quick, we're not gonna pull this off, you can do that. And if you if you pick up some loot along the way, it's like, for example, if you're robbing the a um like a jewelry store for example for someone and it's just like yo we should pick up these diamonds to give us extra money and you fail to get the primary objective which is say a giant huge gem at the other end of the room if you fail to get that at least you'll still have the money so you, and you can uh, sort of use it to your advantage to get what you want this game offers a lot of customization as well like as you know in the first game you had the ability to customize your masks and some of your weapon loads out and all that in this one as you play a lot more options open up I mean I think he says something like it's some stupid number of masks you can get in this game I mean it's a lot and you can it'll bring up a lot of replayability I think a lot of Things that are pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. But this game is um, 
This also runs on the exact same game engine as the original Payday, which means that essentially the game is... If you have a mid, low mid-ish range PC, you'll be able to run it just fine, which is good, which is good. I'll, and they, they have got the obvious improved graphics from the original as well, because, come on, you can't make a sequel without improving graphics. Then again, some sequels I know of actually removed graphics and made it look uglier, but I digress. <laughs> But yeah, each individual member has their own little traits, their own little unique thing. You can go into your own classes, you can customize classes as you want, like... There's certain classes in this game, I can't remember all of them off the top of my head, but you can actually customize them by using certain points. So, you gain these points by clearing the missions and doing tasks and whatnot. Then you can spend these points onto little unique enhancements for your class of choice which means um, yeah some classes they can pick up bodies and hide them places or other classes can go and lock pick things quicker you know it's just small little tweaks like that make it a more personal experience than the first game was This game will be available on the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 Live Arcade, and Steam, of course. I would recommend the PC version, because that's, that's what the game's built for, mainly, the PC. So, although it's all a matter of preference, I, I'm not going to stop you. I mean, pick up Xbox Live, if you want Xbox Live, pick up PlayStation Network, if you want PlayStation Network. It's all the same to me. But yeah, the game is... um. It's looking very good so far. All this gameplay that you're currently seeing is alpha footage, remember, folks. So this is um, extremely early footage of the game. At least I think it's alpha. Either way, it's early footage of the game. It's not. It's not there yet. So rest assured, nearly everything in this video will improve, which is a good thing. It's a good thing, and I believe the game will be selling for about. 15 30 dollars if I remember correctly somewhere around that line and that's it so uh, thank you guys for watching hope that this gives you an incline on whether or not to have a look at payday 2 closer to the release date it will be releasing this summer unless it gets pushed back but it, it, I don't think it will the game looks pretty solid as it is it looks extremely fun to play and I'm quite excited myself to see what it has in store. So, closer to the summer, check out our channel and um, we'll have a, either a full review up or just a little campaign game playthrough just to show you guys, oh my god, look at this game. So yeah, thanks for watching, see you guys again, bye. <laughs>